Don't look at me like that, man. I know. I have been slacking, but I have a valid reason, man. Things have been crazy the last couple of weeks, but I'm back to it. So before I go back to reaction videos and things, I thought I'd reintroduce myself with a nice little story time that I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to. Now, school was a very challenging time, especially for me because I went to a boys' school. Four long years, bruv. Just dudes around. Now, there's certain things that are acceptable when you're in a boys' school. Now, you can be a bit slack with the hygiene because nobody's going to tell you anything. They may tease you a little bit, but it's not as bad as having a girl smell you. Oh, yeah, there were some unfiltered odours in that school, boy. I'm telling you. So, four years of being around boys all the fucking time. Mm hmm. Then came two years of college, co-ed. Now this is your opportunity to switch up. Whoever you were in secondary school, you leave that behind. When you hit college, you're a completely different person. It's your opportunity to reinvent yourself. So, your hygiene needs to be on point. Your clothes need to be on point. I'm speaking for the guys and girls who went to same-sex schools. Bear with me, I'm getting to it. Now, I went to a college that was down the road from where I lived. Now, when I say down the road, I mean literally five minutes. The back of the college was on my road. But this was the time that they brought in 16 to 18 free Oyster cards. So I would be lazy. I would get the bus <laughs> one stop up the fucking road and then walk. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to abuse the free travel. Now I'm 16, I don't want to be early for anything during that time, but there's one thing that got me into college on time, EMA, Education Maintenance Allowance, you're pretty much being paid for perfect attendance. You'd get between 10 or 30 pounds depending on the income of your household. Bruv, I was getting 30 quid a week at that time, so you know I'm going to be early for every single class. So one faithful day, I'm rushing. I remember that morning I had back-to-back -back lessons. I had English language and literature, and then I had French right afterwards. So I'm rushing, yeah? Because I need to be there for nine o'clock. Get my stuff ready, rush out the house. No lazy bus route this time. I leg it down the road, yeah? Get to class on time. But bruv, I forgot to wear deodorant. No, no, none of that spray bollocks. Roll on, I'd forgotten. And I'm running down the road, sweating, getting to English, where that's where I had the most girls. Bruv, I started to stink almost immediately. And this is not, you know, adult B.O. This is teenage B.O., you know, ripe, right through the nose B.O. Just, woo! I don't think you understand what is going on here. The class is not big, but it's full. I'm sitting at the front with three other people on my table. Super self-conscious, I'm looking around like, boy, I hope no one smells me. Fam, I've got that uncomfortable, constipated look on my face the whole lesson. I'm just like, cause I can't go home cause I got French right afterwards and I don't want to be late. In every class, you guys will remember this. There's always an instigator. There is always Somebody who sniffs out when something is afoot. There is always one. We're three quarters into this lesson. I've sat as far away from my table mates as I can. I'm getting through this. Then all I hear is, hey sir, it stinks in here, you know. I don't think you understand how terrifying those words were at the time. So now that we've had that public service announcement, everybody is aware that there's a whiff going on in the class and people want to know the source. Bruv, I'm sweating. Luckily, my English teacher was not about any foolishness. He was just like, suck it up. You guys need to learn how to wash yourselves. You're old enough and I'm just sitting there. Luckily, there's no girls that I like on my table. But there's a few that I like in my class and I don't want them to spell me. Oh my God. As soon as as the lesson ended, 
Oh, you think I'm leaving the class first? Oh, no. I let everybody leave first. But as I'm coming out, the guy who smelt me, yeah, in the class, he's waiting out there. And he's like smelling people. He wants to know who's stinking because he wants to bait someone out. <laughs> oh, man. If you think I went to French after that, you are buzzing, bro. Fuck EMA. I went home and soaked. Man, that was a learning curve. See, now where I work, I've got clothes, deodorants, wipes, creams. If you think I'm going through that again, you are mistaken. See, I believe it's important to pass down the wisdoms that you've learned to the younger generation. So my nephew's 15. He's got deodorants and colognes all over the place. But he plays football, so he's still got them serious, frowsy armpits. But he'll learn. Oh, yes, he will. <sighs> the sun's made an appearance. But anyway, that's the end of my story. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. I apologize again for being away for so long. I'm back now. I'm going to try to be a bit more regular. I'm going to record a shit ton of videos today because I'm working from home. And yeah, I'm out of here.